The story of how Edwin Hubble invented the Big Bang is told best in his 1937 book, The Observational Approach to Cosmology. One day in 1929, when he was looking at the night sky through the Mount Wilson Telescope in California, he saw, for the first time in history, the galaxies of the universe. But one very peculiar feature stuck out. All the galaxies had a red shift in their light. This is analogous to there being too much red in a rainbow. As Stephen Hawking puts it in his book, A Brief History of Time, quote, At that time, most people expected the galaxies to be moving around quite randomly, and so expected to find as many blue-shifted spectra as red-shifted ones. It was quite a surprise, therefore, to find that most galaxies appeared red-shifted. Unquote. Hubble wasn't sure of the cause for the redshift. It could be because the starlight lost energy, or because all the galaxies were moving away from Earth, or the gravity of each galaxy was pulling on the light, or there was a lot of dust in space that acted like a prism on the starlight. One thing Hubble did know, however, was that this ubiquitous redshift put the Earth right smack in the middle of it all, as if it was in the center of the universe. As Hubble put it on page 50 of his book, quote, Such a condition would imply that we occupy a unique position in the universe, analogous, in a sense, to the ancient conception of a central Earth. Unquote. Hawking said much the same in his book, quote, all this evidence that the universe looks the same whichever direction we look might seem to suggest there is something special about our place in the universe. In particular, it might seem that if we observe all other galaxies to be moving away from us, then we must be at the center of the universe." Unquote. Scientists, although they don't like it, are often forced to such Earth-centered interpretations when they honestly consider the data they get from their highly sophisticated instruments. For example, in the evidence from the space probes that NASA recently sent up to examine the cosmic microwave radiation, Lawrence Krauss of Arizona State University concluded the following in 2006, quote, But when you look at CMB map, you also see that the structure that is observed is in fact in a weird way correlated with the plane of the Earth around the Sun. Is this Copernicus coming back to haunt us? That's crazy. We're looking out at the whole universe. There's no way there should be a correlation of structure with our motion of the Earth around the Sun. The plane of the Earth around the Sun. The ecliptic. That would say we are truly the center of the universe." Unquote. 